Hello, my name is Hope Mueller, and today I'm going to talk about the rate of profit in Marxist Capital Illustrated by David Smith. So to start out, what exactly is the rate of profit? Well, there's a lot of parts to it, but hopefully in the next few minutes, I can break it down for you. So the book definition of rate of profit is the ratio between surplus value and total investment, which includes the constant and variable capitals. To understand this definition, you need to understand what constant capital and variable capital is. So constant capital is the equipment, materials, or rent paid of a building to make a product, whereas the variable capital is the worker or the worker's wages paid to make a product. So the ratio between this constant capital and variable capital is looking into the investment into production. So in other words, the rate of profit is the ratio between the surplus value and the total investment or the materials and the labor funds used to make a product. However, it gets a little more complex than that. So in most economies, there is competition. Competition is businesses selling comparable products, trying to make the most profit on them. A few examples are McDonald's, Burger King, Nike and Adidas, Lowe's and Menards. Competition then drives the production, which production drives constant and variable capitals. Competition is increased when there is a better, faster, more precise way of making a product. So how do you do this exactly? Technology. When there is better technology out there, the more of a product can be made at a faster rate. However, technology interferes with both constant capital and variable capital. It interferes with constant capital because technology is equipment used to make a product. So you'd be paying more money for constant capital than variable capital because this technology would take away some of those variable capital or the workers' jobs. So you wouldn't be paying as much money towards the workers and you would be paying money towards buying this technology or equipment to make a said product. Catch here is that statistically uh, looking at some, uh, some companies, when more money is spent on constant capital than variable capital, profits normally tend to decline. So if the profits decrease and decline, then obviously the rate of profit is also declining or decreasing. So this is based on organic composition of capital. So high organic composition of capital is when more money is spent on constant capital than variable capital. An example of high organic composition is when you have a room full of machinery and just one person in charge of all the machinery in that room. So there is more constant capital, the machinery, than there is variable capital, the one worker. Organic composition works inversely with profit rates. This means when organic composition is low, profit rates are high. Whereas when organic composition is high, profit rates tend to be lower. So how do you achieve this low organic composition to produce high profit rates? Well, you don't spend more money on constant capital than variable capital. So as stated earlier, the ratio between constant and variable capital is looking into investments into production. So the, the investment into production is people in the society investing their own money into a company to produce a product in hopes that they also increase, increase their own profit. The investment of their own money is used, the money that they invested is used to buy or pay for constant and variable capitals. So investments always come with a risk, however, because prices of product, productions can change every day. So finding a company with a product that has a low organic composition now may not always stay the same or may not be that way. So it can change within a matter of months, weeks, or even days. You never know. So to wrap it up, the rate of profit is very complex part of capitalism according to Karl Marx. Key ideas to take away that uh, loops around is that the rate of profit is the ratio between surplus value and total investments which includes constant and variable capitals. Competition then drives this production which affects the constant and variable capitals. Organic composition of capital depends on how much money you spend on constant capital and variable capitals which then loops back around to the rate of profit because the organic composition of capital can predict whether the rate of profit will be high or low. So I hope this uh, video helped you understand a little better of uh, Karl Marx's rate of profit and I hope you enjoy.